Welcome back to Bluegrass. It's a beautiful April afternoon. Uh, got a quick video for you. Hey, Stoney, what do I do when I have a dog that only has re marginal retrieving drive? Well, guys, here's what you have to do. You have to be very patient. <laughs> okay, so I have this dog here. His name's Hank, and uh, he's not the strongest retriever in the world. So we've been bringing him over and just kind of letting him get acclimated to the water. And we've been throwing the retrieving item just a couple of feet in front of us. And I used the long line to keep Hank uh, kind of focused and to keep him from taking my retrieving item and getting out of the swimming hole. So I'll get Hank in front of me. Hank, what are you doing, dude? And I'll throw the retrieving item. Now all I'm going to do with the long line, I'm not going to pull him to me. I'm just going to use it to steer him if he goes to going away. Like see, he's thinking about going to the cameraman. So I just kind of steer him over here towards me. Come on, Hank. You can do it. Very good. Now, you notice Hank has went up here uh, kind of on this rock pile. But that's not too bad. So we're going to throw it just a few feet. Let Hank think about it. Going to go over there. Very nice. Now, I want him to bring it back to me. Now, I'm out in the water because this is what happens to me. If I let Hank go to the rocks what he does with the retrieving item is he drops it and uh, what i like to do with the young dogs is what's known as an inductive retrieve where i teach them to hand me the retrieving item but at his age i don't have that much time because he's only with me for a few weeks so with these dogs that are only here for a, uh, like a shorter period of time what i'll do is i'll put myself in the water and uh, they don't like to drop the retrieving item while they're in the water and i'll just kind of scoop it up as they come past me or come to me and then i'll gradually work my way to the bank and you might say, well, Stoney, that sounds like a lot of work. It's only a lot of work on the front end because you get wet and dirty, but uh, it works really, really pretty fast. So after just three or four weeks of this, like we'll have this dog delivering to hand, no force fetch, no fuss, no muss. Come on, nerd. Oh, come on. Very good. So I just stay in the water and he retrieves two hand. Good. Throw it this way a little ways. Very nice. Come on, come on. Now watch. As he comes by me, just kind of steer him. Good. He keeps the retrieving item in his mouth. I get it out of his mouth and immediately throw it again. And so what I'm doing is I'm teaching the dog that handing me the retrieving item is what drives the game. Good. Now Hank, like a lot of other dogs his age, because of COVID, he didn't get out as much as he should have. And so he really literally just doesn't understand that handing me the retrieving item drives the game. And once he understands that, we're off to the races. And uh, he's going to be able to go to the lake and have a good time, go to the river and have a good time. Very nice. And now watch, I'll, I'll just show you kind of a shortened version of how this works over the weeks. See, I'm going to position myself up here closer to the bank. Very nice. Reel him in, very nice. Now watch, now I'm gonna get up on the bank a little bit. Make sure I have plenty of long line. <laughs> very nice, Hank, very nice. Good, okay. And then maybe by next week, I'll actually be standing on the bank. And if it works out, then I should get a delivery to hand. Oh my gosh, it too, got too deep, Stoney. It got too deep. Come on, I'll go with you. Need a little help? Psh, that duck's alive. Get that duck. Very nice. Oh, that's a good boy. And I might have made it a little too hard for Hank. So I'm going to shorten up my throw. And I'll try to be up here on our little rock island and get him to deliver it to the hand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's what the long line's for. Look, very nice. Okay, so I got it. Guys, I started doing this uh, a long time ago because one of the biggest problems in the dog training business is people send you these young adolescent dogs. They have no impulse control, no attention span. They don't understand the relationship between like their behavior and getting to do what they want. And so like you can sit there with them and try to explain the game of fetch uh, you know, with the click and treat, or you can try to force them to fetch, but I find that the attrition rate uh, for owners with that is pretty high. With this one, it's really fun because especially in the summertime, everybody likes being in the water, everybody likes being in their pool, and all it requires is for you to be willing to get in the pool with your dog, good, and collect the retrieving item while they're still in the water. And then just every day, try to work yourself closer to the bank, 
Good, or if you're in a swimming pool, closer to the ladder. Good, and before you know it, you will have worked yourself. You'll get shook, you know, you're a little shake, shook on, <laughs> not too bad. Before you know it, you'll have worked yourself all the way up to dry land. Very nice, good dog. And I'm telling you, it's such a simple and effective technique that I really don't understand why more people don't use it. All right, well that's your pro tip of the day. Now watch the long line, save me. Come on Hank, you can do it. That's your pro tip of the day. Uh, I hope it works for you. One more. Very nice, I steer him around. And right to hand. <laughs> Perfect. Easy peasy. I'll see y'all next week.